Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Ah, good afternoon, you two. On this Sunday afternoon, it is a overcast, rainy day. Which, uh, you know, happens now and then. It's cooler out. It's 65, I think, out there. Uh, Kylie is out wrapping up work on the Buick. And this little gem here is the uh, hole saw that I bought online. So, that's basically what it looks like. And my plan is, is to take a piece of this plastic that it came in. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to make a template out of uh, this for the meters. And uh, that will work out rather well, I think. So that's what I'm planning on doing. And we'll use the hole saw to make a, a the proper size big hole. And then I can line up that with the uh, plastic and on the uh, I can see through it so I can know exactly where to, to put my screw holes and that'll work out really great. So hang in there, let's do that and I'll show you what I'm coming up with. Alright, uh, let's put this on the back of this. Yeah, see a little bit better that way. Uh, you can see there's the template. I uh, It does fit. Not great, but it fits. And I know the adjustments that need to be made. Part of the reason is two of the screws on that meter are slightly, they're not bent, but they're kind of at an angle. It's a little bit difficult to line them up the way they're supposed to be. But uh, that will get it done right there. So uh, what I'm going to do is, is mark out the four bolt holes there. You can see right there and there and there and there and once I do that then I'll put an X across there straight line it and that will be my center point and that's where we will run the drill in. Uh, drill did not work great on this plastic but you know I was using that uh, screwdriver instead of the actual drill so <laughs> that might have had something to do with it. Uh, it did it did work I mean it, it uh, obviously got the, the hole through it I had to round it out a little bit more with the uh, utility knife, but uh, I got it done. And I'm hoping that the, uh, I think if I if I have the problem with the, the metal cut, then I'll probably have to use the Dremel and one of those uh, grinding wheels or something to grind out that center hole a little bit better. And once I do that, then I can go ahead and fit the meter in, I believe. The only thing that I, I see it might be a problem is those holes. Uh, the way they are right now are a little bit too small. Uh, I think I need to go up to uh, uh, the next size drill bit, but that was the only, uh, that's the largest size I have in those four that fit the uh, uh, screwdriver, so that's why I used it. But uh, I have plenty of drill bits I can use, so use them with the chuck there, and they'll work just fine. So I think I'll probably use the drill when I get to the uh, metal part, obviously, but. Uh, that's the plan, so that's what we're going to go with. And that's, uh, for now, that's going to do that one. I don't think I'm going to probably mark that uh, plate yet until I, I get some more idea of what I'm doing as far as the rest of it's concerned. I'll probably use one of Wally's switches for the power. <laughs> I kind of like those switches. And I have a few of them, so. And he has more, even. <laughs> I guess you saw my video, so. Uh, Anyway, that's what we're going to do, and uh, we'll come back, uh, we'll show you what else we're doing, so hang in there. Alright, I have back here with you again, I have one more bit to add. This is the, uh, using the template, that's what I marked out for the uh, uh, panel. Uh, what we'll do first is take and, and center punch that hole right there and start the uh, hole drill in there and drill out the hole 
Once that's done, we'll take the meter and drop it down in there and make sure the the uh, other screws we're going to line up okay. And uh, that should do it. Don't think I'm going to do that tonight. Um, for one thing, I'm going to go out to the garage and find the uh, center punch. And I think that's going to do it for this time. So I just wanted to bring you back and show you that uh, kind of working on it. I, I was going to uh, have my soldering iron heating up. I was going to work on the zenith. But I uh, think we're going to call it quits for today. Maybe I'll work on it tomorrow. Kind of looks like the uh, girls are going to be here Tuesday night. Uh, their parents are going back up to Muncie. Uh, no doubt college business. So, And uh, I think that uh, we will uh, uh, see you later on, I guess. Uh, again, it's still rainy here. And uh, that's a bummer, but <laughs> it is what it is. So you guys uh, have a great great evening, the rest of the evening I should say, it's kind of, oh, I don't know what time it is, but, let me see what time is it, ah, it's only 2.25, I thought it was later than that, I think when it's dark outside, you just sort of think it's later, I guess, but, uh, oh, this, uh, I forgot to show you that, I did straighten that out, uh, I think you can see it is pretty daggone straight now, I just used the uh, back of the, uh, one of the pair of pliers, and I, I hit it with the other one, but uh, it's nice and straight now. I'll have to do the other one the same way. Probably getting it too close. But anyway, that's uh, nice and flat. So that will work out nice. And I think the plan is to put the uh, meter there and a meter here next to each other. Uh, yeah, I'll get this backwards, but that's goes like that. Okay, so the meters will go there, and then on this end we'll have the on-off switch, the uh, rotary uh, multi-turn pot control for that there, and also probably down below it, the binding post. So, uh, room for everything in here. Uh, that's going to be, uh, this should be the end where the uh, transformer is mounted, so I don't want to clutter this up with a lot of stuff that's going to be sticking back in there a far piece. These these are not, not going to stick out too far. They're not that, that deep. Uh, they could actually go there, but, you know, I just soon put them over here and get these wired up this way. I think it's a better deal. So uh, That's the front panel. panel. I wanted to get the um, panel dimensions and the panels hole cuts and things like that for the front first. The back one's going to be pretty darn easy. All I've got to do is uh, put one in for the uh, heat sink power uh, coming in, the power cord. Probably get a, a strain relief for that and use one of those uh, three-prong uh, computer type cords for that. Um, I, I, I may go ahead and just use one of the uh, uh, connectors that I have. I have one left of those and I might just use it. That probably would be the way to go. That way I'll have a, a uh, cord that I can take off and store differently. You know, I think that just makes it easier. So, All right, um, Gavin, 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 uh, Marty, don't yell at me too much. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching, and we will see you.